It was a night of honor at Mission Viejo High School and some thrillers in round one of the volleyball playoffs. It's all next on South County Sports Zone. Hi everyone, welcome to South County Sports Zone. We are inside the MVTV studio in Mission Viejo. I'm Gordon Spencer. Friday night for the Mission Viejo Diablos was more than just a football game. It was a night to honor and celebrate the veterans that have given so much to our country. For the seventh straight year, fans, veterans, and players gathered on campus for Mission Armed Forces. <laughs> The night of honor began with the veterans meeting members of the Mission Viejo football team. The players wearing jerseys with the veterans' names on their backs. I mean, the biggest thing is this, this is the only time of the year, only game of the year, where we have a last name on the back of our jerseys. Every other game of the season, there's no last name. We always play for the name on the front of the jersey, which is Mission Viejo. Well, tonight we're playing for the guys in the back of the jersey and their last names and what they've done for this country. So, uh, and they're here to watch them and they're here to meet them. Um, some of them are family members. Some of them don't. Uh, we'll meet their vets for the first time right now in this process that you're, that you're witnessing. Um, and it's just a really great time. And and our vets get really excited about it. And they give them inspiration. And it's it's a really just a really cool event. The players spent time with the veterans, getting a chance to learn and understand what serving our country meant to them and hear stories of their bravery. It's very impressive. I'm a Vietnam era vet, and when we came back, uh, a lot of us got spit at. So it's really nice to be, quote, welcomed home and thanked. Uh, that was a political war. We just went and did what we were told to do. You know. It means a lot to be able to represent something bigger than yourself, bigger than the team. Um, so to have a veteran to play for, and for all of us to be paired up with a veteran, it means a lot to know that we can honor people who have done so much for our country. So thank you for what, what all of you guys have done. And point. that's really special for us to be able to honor you guys um, and respect and you know play for, play for everything you guys have done for us. The reality is we sincerely appreciate it. Uh, it's nice to be welcomed home and to feel good. Hello, Greg Rouse here, the Mayor of Mission Viejo, with a fellow Colonel in the Marine Corps, Colonel Griffin. He's the Commanding Officer of Headquarters Battalion, 1st Marine Division. Welcome to Thanks, Mission Viejo. It's, honor. it's an honor to be here, sir. We always uh, enjoy this event and always appreciate the tremendous support from Mission Viejo. As a veteran, probably means a little bit more only because, you know, I went here. I missed, I missed the high school years, but with all the veterans aside, they would love this. All my brothers and sisters that been deployed and went through this even before me, it's phenomenal. I mean, it means a lot to me because like, I'm not from this country, but like to see what people put down, to give other people from other countries a chance to have a better life. I, I, I respect these people and all the work that they do. And I just like, what's the best way to uh, honor them in American games for us? So football is the best way to do it. And I think it's cool that our school is doing that to represent them and show off for our veterans. My father was a World War II veteran. And when I was growing up, he used to always tell me the stories when he was in the war. So I always wanted to do what he did. He was a pilot in, uh, over Normandy during D-Day. And I followed his footsteps. And I'm a, I was a Marine Corps fighter pilot. And now my son is a F-18 uh, fighter guy himself. So three generations of military pilots were all excited. We're going to have a big game tonight. And thank you, Grant and Jen, for uh, letting me share, you, share, share the story with you guys. Thank you. It was the best experience in the world. It was rough, we, were, we saw a lot of action, but the, the boys, the American GI, was so a wonderful patient. They loved us, they, they were so grateful for us being there, and we were glad that we were there. The only war I was in was World War II. I was damn lucky. I got back with all pieces. <laughs> Closer to game time, veterans were escorted out to the field where they were given a warm welcome by members of the cheer squad and Mission Viejo staff and students. <laughs> a 
The Sea to Shining Sea flag was unfurled for the pregame ceremony. The flag has flown at ground zero in honor of 9-11 and is displayed all over the U.S. to further educate, motivate, and inspire. Then there was a very special halftime to conclude a night of honor with a medley of songs of all the branches of the military performed by the marching band and choir. To the game itself, San Clemente visiting Mission Viejo, both teams undefeated, entering this game first place on the line. First quarter, first minute of the game, and San Clemente's Nick Billups pass is tipped into the air and picked off by James McDonald. McDonald weaving his way down, loses the ball, but he was down, and it's Mission Viejo's ball. So the first play for Mission Viejo after the interception, a touchdown. Chase Nenad, 17 yards from Peter Costelli, 7-0 Mission Viejo. Next possession for Mission Viejo, another touchdown. Costelli hands it off to Jacquez Robertson. 14 to nothing, Diablos up quick and early. Then the defense shows some offense. Easton Mascarenas picking it off and running it back. 53 yards later, trying to get in. He does stretch it in, 21 to nothing. Mission Viejo, then San Clemente gets a break. The fumble, Trey Tortoisil picks it up at the Mission Viejo 23. San Clemente turns it into points. The 33-yard field goal by Cole Thompson. San Clemente trails 21 to three. Then another break, another miscue by the Diablos offense. Trent Braille picks it up for San Clemente on the 16-yard line. Second quarter, swap field, same possession. San Clemente turns it into points. 41-yard field goal, Cole Thompson, 21-6. San Clemente trails at the half. A lot to cheer about for the Diablos, though. Third quarter, fourth and one. Look at Easton Mascarenas carrying defenders with him. He gets one and more, dragging the players. Then Mascarenas finishes it, two-yard touchdown, 28-6, Mission Viejo. Then R.J. Lopez, automatic, adds three more with the foot. 28-yard field goal, 31-6, Diablos. More Mission Viejo defense. Reese Bailey picking it off for the Diablos. They do not waste the interception. It leads to another touchdown. Jacquez Robertson, two-yard score. And Mission Viejo cruises on Mission Armed Forces Night by a final score of 38-6. Stays undefeated in league. San Clemente finishes the regular season 3-1. and one. They'll wait for the playoffs. Mission Viejo earns at least a share of the league title, their 10th league title in 11 years. They finish the season with Tesoro, who will try and pull the upset to share that South Coast League title. Capo Valley will finish the season against El Toro, both teams 0-3 in league. Aliso Niguel has won two in a row after defeating Laguna Hills 38-14. They will finish the season hosting Tribuco Hills, who had a bye last week. That game for second place in the Seaview League behind San Juan Hills. It's break time when we come back. Amazing girls playoff volleyball action from round one. The greatest thrills and excitement are awaiting you right in your own backyard. The CIF Southern Section and your SoCal Ford dealers encourage you to go to a game at your local high school. Unbelievable action is right in your community. You'll be amazed at what you've been missing. Supporting your local school has never been more fun. Go to a game this week. Welcome back to South County Sports Zone. Talk about pressure out of the gate in girls volleyball. Division One has just 12 teams fighting for a championship, so every match has some of the best talent in California. Two league champs in round one, Long Beach Poly from the Moore League and Aliso Niguel, the South Coast League champs, meet to open up the playoffs. And what a 
good match it was. Set one, Caitlin Smith serves for Aliso Pearl Talua. Sets Adanya Famuina. Wow, 6-3 Long Beach Poly. Aliso catches up. Hannah Murphy serves and Jessica Smith. Back row kill to tie it at nine. Then the ace by Jessica Smith. Elisa Miguel up 20 to 16. And then for the win in set one, Jessica Smith taking over the set. She puts it down. Elisa wins set one, 25-20, up 1-0. Leland McGrath, UCI grad, leading the Long Beach Poly Jackrabbits. Set two, off the Blair Dodge serve. Pearl, Talua to Kai Brown for the kill. Poly up 20 to 14. Aliso gets within two on a 6-2 run. The roof by Nicole Feliciano and Brooke Patchell. Aliso down 22-20. Polly able to put it away though. Kami Anaya to Adanya Famuina. To Anaya. Long Beach Polly wins set to 25-22. Match tied at one. Richie Whiting and the Aliso Nigel Wolverines trying to go up at home. Set three. Aliso on a 10-5 run. Caitlin Smith. The kill, 13-11, Aliso. Then the ace by Caitlin Smith. 19-15, Aliso. Jessica Smith, the twin, the serve, and the miss hit coming up by Long Beach Poly, and Aliso wins set three, 25-19. Long Beach Poly down 2-1 now on the road, try to rally, set four, late in the set. Aliso down 23-22. And the roof by Caitlin Smith and Peyton Darm to tie it at 23. Then the ace by Blair Dodge. Aliso now one point away from advancing. And they do it with the defense. Another roof set up. Brooke Patchell, the sophomore, and Peyton Darm. And Aliso wins set four to advance 25 23. I knew that they were going to be incredibly physical and talented. Uh, they always are. They're always really strong. So I haven't matched up against them this year, and I, I just only got to saw little bits of video. So um, it was kind of figured out as we go tonight. Um, it worked out, though, luckily. Yeah, I think we did a really good job on defense and just pushing really hard in our offense, like mixing up where we put it and keep, always keeping them on their toes so they never knew where we were going to go. So Elisa will face Redondo Union in the quarterfinals on October 30th. Redondo Union had a bye in round one. Division two, round one playoffs. Four Seaview League teams advanced to the postseason. Tesoro being one of them, the league champs, against Tribuco Hills, the South Coast League at large team. A neighborly matchup in round one. First set, Tribuco Hills up thanks to the ace by Lulu Utterback. 10-7 Tribuco Hills. Tesoro coming back with the ace of their own, Ellie Hansen, 18-17, Tribuco Hills. It's a set full of aces, tied at 19, Utterback again, serving well, Mustangs up 20-19, that catches the line. Tribuco Hills, a 6-1 run to end it. Utterback sets Jenna Halverson, and Halverson with the dink over, 25-20 in set one, goes to the Mustangs. Tesoro, led by Rich Polk, down 1-0 at home. Set two, Tribuco Hills again, coming out ahead on the road. Michaela McComas sets Jenna Walsh. 7-4, Tribuco Hills. Tesoro ties it up. Grace McIntosh sets, sets Jordan Weiser, the lefty. 14 all in set number two. Then a 6-2 run for Tribuco Hills. Jenna Halverson for the nice dig there by Jenna Walsh. Finishes it 20 to 16, Tribuco Hills. Tesoro now on that 6-2 run themselves. The ace by Peyton Harlan to tie it at 22. They complete the late comeback. Grace McIntosh with the defense, the block. Tesoro wins set two in extras, 26-24 to tie the match at one set. Each. Craig Moothart there on the right leading the Tribuco Hills Mustangs. We go to set three, another battle. Sarah Ramirez 
Off the miss hit, gets it to drop 6-5 to Soro. Buco Hills takes its first lead in set three via the ace. Julie Ng, 13-12, Tribuco Hills. Then it's Lulu Utterback. We know what she can do. She's been doing it all match. Yep, another ace. 16-13, Tribuco Hills. Tribuco Hills stays on top. This time, Lulu Utterback and Ava Anderson, the quick kill. 25-20, Tribuco Hills wins it. Mustangs now up two sets to one on the road. We go to set four, Tesoro up three, Peyton Harlan, the kill. Watch the big swing. 12-8, Tesoro. Tesoro stays in front. Grace McIntosh, the quick set. Sets Ava Anderson, 16-11, Titans. Tesoro keeping the pressure on at home. But here comes Tribuco Hills, McComas, Jenna Walsh using the dink. Tribuco Hills down six, but Tesoro forces a fifth set. Thanks to the defense, Stevie Shaughnessy, the block coming up right there. Tesoro wins set four, 25-16. What a first round match in Division Two at Tesoro. Two local teams going at it, set five to 15. How about the ace by Jenna Walsh? 8-6, Tribuco Hills. Now Tribuco Hills, just three points away from advancing. Nice dig by Ng. Jenna Halverson, kill. 13-11, Tribuco Hills just needs two more. Here comes Soro, tied at 14. And they take a 15-14 lead off the block. You gotta win by two. Back and forth we go. Jenna Walsh. And it's tied at 16. Tesoro up by one now, one point away from the second round for the Titans. And the dink by Sarah Ramirez, and Tesoro comes back and set five to win 18 to 16. Um, we just stayed together the whole entire time and fought back. We weren't gonna let anyone come back into our house. You know, it was a battle. We got a slow start. Uh, Tribuco came out and really pushed hard game one. We were trying to catch our breath, but we stayed uh, stayed the course. We kept battling and ended up being able to pull it out in five. You know, 15, 13, or 15, 13 16, 14, whatever the score was, it was a battle to the end. Well, what a matchup. Tesoro winning in five sets. Tribuco Hills, you didn't want to see any team go home, but they do. Their season is over after losing three sets to two. Tesoro then lost in three straight in round two to Santa Margarita. San Juan Hills defeated San Clemente to also advance in round two. In Division Three, round one, Mission Viejo was swept by Citrus Valley in three straight. That's it for this episode. Tell your friends, post videos and photos at your games, and use those hashtags. Log on to cityofmissionviejo.org forward slash MVTV or cityofalisoviejo.com for all of the episodes. Thanks for watching. I'm Gordon Spence.